Welcome to Charts Today, Asia Pacific. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Wednesday the 17th of October comes to you from London and uh, the market's recovering pretty well globally. We had big rises on Wall Street last night, the uh, Dow up 2% the Nasdaq up 3%. So uh, we're really seeing that recovery filtering through to uh, Asia Pacific markets. Dollar uh, looking a little bit stronger, looking like it's about to translate uh, transition to uh, short-term bullish again the medium chart of course is bullish euro is weaker uh, as a result and the Japanese yen we're seeing that dollar strength um, kicking in there so uh, that's normally where we see it happen first uh, the yen is against the dollar tends to be a lead indicator uh, seeing sterling also pushing through uh, short-term bullish against the dollar uh, and medium term making this transition so sterling looking more and more bullish uh, despite the, the Brexit uh, situation uh, sterling is making recovery even against the euro we're seeing now sterling is bullish on pretty well all three time frames just coming through to bullish on the long term chart against the Swiss franc we see that sterling chart showing through and against the Aussie dollar uh, we see that as well taking a look at uh, Bitcoin uh, we see Bitcoin actually uh, is still struggling. It is in bullish territory on the short term chart, but bearish, medium and long term. So a very tough call um, to play Bitcoin at the moment. And it's been in sideways range really for the last two months. So it's making it harder to trade. Uh, st the S&P we talked about recovering quite sharply looks like sort of found support on the medium term chart on the cloud we have got some upside targets here 1.6 percent higher um, if we make new highs of course that would be very bullish uh, what we need to watch for is the making of a lower high and then a lower low that would be the signs that um, we're, this bull run could be over the Nasdaq actually looking pretty strong as well did actually go through the cloud on the medium term chart in recent weeks but looks like we're recovering into bullish territory an upside target of three percent so it'll be interesting to see uh, how the markets uh, finish the week in the US looking at uh, the Dow uh, also looking quite strong and the broader base Russell actually putting in quite a strong recovery yesterday as well uh, the um, futures this morning a little change so we're not seeing any clues for the US market uh, the S&P future uh, for the, uh, is up very slightly and the Nasdaq e-mini is down very slightly so no real heads up yet we'll need a couple of hours in the European market before we can see which way the futures will open uh, the European futures FTSE future looking higher the DAX also looking uh, half percent higher so just trading up on that uh, European uh, sorry in that uh, US close taking a look at uh, the uh, Asian markets we see uh, Japan uh, was up one and a half percent the Hang Seng actually lagged a bit so it didn't really perform that strongly and the Chinese market uh, was up half a percent, but nothing like the two, three percent we're seeing in Europe. Chinese stocks still our main concern, as we see here on the charts, uh, testing four year lows still. And in India, the Sensex uh, was also lower and the Aussie market uh, was up one and one point two percent. So we are seeing a bit of recovery there. But again, medium term, very different picture from the US. We're in clearly bearish territory there. Uh, the um, crude uh, oil futures we're seeing Brent up about 0.4 percent WTI uh, up some 0.3 percent and US Nat gas has held steady taking a look at gold gold was actually uh, down slightly having had a very good run the last week uh, so just pausing for breath really and the same with silver um, little change US 10-year yields uh, sitting at uh, 3.1 uh, 8% so again just uh, holding that uh, position and German bonds strengthening a little bit and now we're sort of coming out of the turmoil taking a look at stocks uh, we see here this is all Yahoo data so uh, all good Yahoo um, finance data from Yahoo so look here we see the changes on the uh, the US markets um, and Europe was at one and a half percent on the uh, euro stocks yesterday which is the 600 stocks in Europe taking a look at uh, the Nikkei we saw um, 
the, these rises as well. So pretty well up across the board on the indices. Um, looking at the individual stocks, first of all, just taking a look at the NASDAQ so we can see uh, what's driving things yesterday. Uh, bellwethers like Apple up 2.2%, 2, 2 so looking very strong, really not showing any signs of the sell-off there. Uh, Amazon um, finding support and was up 3.3% uh, yesterday, so it's a very strong performance there. Google has underperformed. This is related to the, the Dow here. We're seeing it's been very flat um, against the Dow over the last year. Uh, and so Google is still actually medium term bearish. Taking a look at Facebook, uh, we see here Facebook, that 150 level was tested and still looking very bearish on that uh, medium term chart, finding some respect yesterday up 3.4%. Uh, and if we're just taking a look at the, uh, the majors uh, as well, Tesla um, up 6.5%. That 250 level now a, f a fair way away. That support level very critical for Tesla. Uh, Netflix was in the news yesterday um, uh, with better than expected subscriber numbers. Shares up four percent, uh, and Nvidia st uh, star performer also up four percent. So we saw some very big rises in the Nasdaq. Microsoft back above 110, up three percent. So generally speaking, U.S. tech is the real driver here. Taking a look at the Aussie market, uh, best performers uh, today, uh, Bellamy's Australia up 12%, uh, so very significant there. It's just finding support on the long-term chart, but it has had a terrible run the last few months, and versus the Dow Jones, for example, we're some 15% lower. Uh, we saw still quite a few stocks at 8% up, Blackmore's, but a lot of these stocks looking very bearish on the medium term charts despite good performance. Uh, Bigger Cheese, for example, we're seeing here um, also just struggling. Taking a look at the downside, we saw there were still quite a lot of stocks down. So um, in the Aussie market, it's not all good. Afterpay, for example, down 18%. So we're seeing that starting to crack the trend there. So still a lot of things to be worried about. Mineral resources uh, were down nearly 3%, and again, just uh, looking bearish there. So taking a look at the uh, Indian market, the best performers, HCL Technologies, again, we noticed there was still quite a lot of bearish looking stocks in the Indian market. Um, top performers here up some 2.6%, uh, holding bull trends, but, uh, and again, just seeing the outperformance recently against the Dow Jones looking good, but uh, stocks like Infosys, uh, looking very strong still. The trend, stocks trending are the, really the ones to find. And if we look on the short, uh, the downside, stocks like India Bulls housing down 8%, so looking very bearish there indeed. Yes Bank also, uh, big falls we see here on, on the long-term chart, big falls on that weekly chart. Remembering this is my long-term view, weekly 1%, daily half a percent point in figure and then looking at the on-balance volume and the relative strength charts, uh, again, all coming from Yahoo. Uh, taking a look at uh, the Nikkei 250, Sumiko uh, up 5%, uh, screen holdings up 5%. So we're seeing quite a lot of uh, uh, outperformance there. Again, looking at the negative side, still quite a lot of stocks negative, just the number of stocks gives me a little bit of a clue. Kawasaki uh, down 14%, uh, so quite significant falls here. That's making new lows looking very bearish indeed. Last of all, Hong Kong. Uh, we saw here Hong Kong stocks. Uh, we've got some stocks as high as 4% uh, up. Country Garden Holdings, for example, but still looking pretty bearish. Even though we're seeing big rises, a lot of these stocks looking bearish. Again, quite a significant number of stocks to the downside here. Um, WH Group was down quite heavily yesterday, down 3.5% uh, here as well. Last of all, taking a look at the Chinese market, which has been our main worry. A lot of stocks up yesterday. Uh, China Galaxy Securities up 4.6%, but still these charts looking terrible. And if we look uh, to the uh, stocks falling in this stronger market, uh, still a handful of stocks, so not too bad, but we still have a lot of stocks uh, down some 5%, 2%, not all up, so uh, it's really key. When you compare that to the NASDAQ with nearly everything up, 
it just shows the difference in performance. That's it for today for Asia Pacific. Uh, keep an eye out for our European and US updates. Until tomorrow, happy charting. See you then.